Mix water with what's in here, and all you'll get is gray muck. This stuff is still just rock dust. To become cement, it has to be superheated, then mixed with more ingredients on its way to becoming the ultimate construction glue. Heat is the critical catalyst in setting off a chemical chain reaction that turns the raw mix into the real thing, the stuff that hardens when mixed with water. For that to happen, you need to get the carbon dioxide out of the stone. And the best way to do it is to get things real hot, all the way to 1,600 degrees Celsius. That's hotter than the core of an erupting volcano. It starts in this preheating tower. Heat from gas burners rises up through interconnected cones. Each one is 7 meters in diameter and 15 meters tall. The limestone powder swirls down through the rising heat, moving from one cone to the next, heating up as it goes. Five cones later, it hits 900 degrees Celsius. And that's the magic number. At this temperature, it creates new bonds and frees carbon dioxide stored in the limestone. Next, you need to bond the dust back together by melting it in this kiln. At one end, a giant flamethrower that slides between two blast-proof doors. Fuel blows down its length and explodes into flames 10 meters long. Hundreds of air compressors stoke the fire with blasts of oxygen. Advanced thermal imaging cameras keep constant watch. Temperatures have to be kept steady to make sure the product is consistent. And that's just one of the problems maintaining a blaze this powerful in a kiln this big. You also got to stop it from clogging, twisting out of shape, or developing dangerous hot spots that could shut the whole thing down. To prevent backups, the kiln never stops turning. That action keeps the mix tumbling like clothes in your dryer. And since it's designed with a downward slope, each rotation carries the mix a bit further. The twisting force is strongest near the motor and loses torque further out. So these support tires have a flexible inner ring that allows the outer section of the kiln to slip, making up for any lag in rotation and keeping everything turning together.